Survivors of childhood sexual assault again return to the state capitol and again ask for justice and the chance to sue their abusers. The House will pass a constitutional amendment bill this week, but because it does not exactly match language in the Senate's version, it won't make it to the ballot just yet. Dennis Owens has more from the Capitol. It is called House Bill 1, but it isn't the first attempt to let survivors of child sex abuse sue beyond their statute of limitations. Victims have waited long enough. The, the gamesmanship, the playing politics has got to stop. Mark Rousey was abused by a priest as a boy. HB 1 is his bill. It would open a two-year window for survivors to bring suit, but it doesn't exactly match Senate Bill 1, which combines voter ID and regulatory amendments to the sex abuse amendment. Senate Majority Leader Joe Pittman said his chamber is done dealing with it. We were very consistent and clear on the priorities that embodied Senate Bill 1, three distinct and independent constitutional questions that should go before the voters. The House would be, be best served if they would pass Senate Bill 1 as we presented it to them. Are they playing games with victims here? Yes, they are. And, and people of this Commonwealth need to call them out and say, pass this bill for victims, get it done. Both chambers previously passed the amendment twice, but the Wolf administration failed to properly advertise it. So it was yanked and put back on the drawing board and pushed back into the trenches. We still have big hurdles. Um, there's, there's folks that don't want to see it passed. Jim Gregory's also a sex abuse survivor. He says the wait's been too long and the want is too great that the Senate is trying to tie a few of its priorities to it. We want victims to have this opportunity, but we want it so bad that it's being used against us to get the other two things. Senate Majority Leader Joe Pittman, Senate President Pro Temp Kim Ward, uh, three words, do your job. And to get to the ballot, the Senate needs to pass the House version, which it said it won't, or the House needs to pass the Senate version, which it thus far hasn't. Gregory and survivors note that this will be the first time in Pennsylvania history that a constitutional amendment is passed four times. Because normally, once it passes twice, it's done. At the state capitol, Dennis Owens, ABC 27 News.